background really in the martial arts game into the judo. Um, it's no big secret, I've been national champion on two occasions. Um, two or three years ago, still part of the uh, national squad uh, on the England team, represented the country abroad on the international circuit. Um, I've tried other martial arts in the past, uh, Shotokan Karate, Lagwa Kung Fu being a few, um, but always predominantly seem to go back to the judo. The thing is with the mixed martial arts, we all know that it's an all round game, it's a complete package. Now, my takedowns, my submission, my grappling, my groundwork, he's never going to get any better, I don't think, you know, as long as I keep on top and, and just keep the cardio going and, and just keep my finger in with the practice, then that's never going to improve, I wouldn't have thought. We've been practicing a few techniques and we've found a few things that suit me. Obviously I'm a big guy and power's there. Um, and yeah, we have developed a few techniques that I think are going to raise a few eyebrows. I, uh, yes, I am I am aware of the fact that now it's a complete different ball game. Okay, As opposed to somebody trying to throw me over or, or trying to get a submission, somebody's going to be trying to punch me on the chin. So, you know, I thought to myself, well look, all I can do is give it 110% commitment. Whatever happens on the night, happens. And then, to be honest, the amount of support that I have been receiving and the amount of interest from the guys that want to come along and support me, then I think that's going to give me a little bit of motivation and more drive and more determination to think, you know what, these guys have come out, took the time out of their day to come and watch. So I'm going to be giving it 110%. If he wants to do his own work like I've done mine, then he can look and all he's going to do is find out about my judo background. You know, and I've watched James' his last fights. Um, and for some reason, he kind of likes to rush in and take it to the ground. And, and no disrespect to James as a fighter, but what I've seen when he does take it to the ground, he seems to come unstuck. All I'll say is that if James wants to take it to the ground, then he's bringing it to me. With James' stamina, I don't know what all, that's all about. He seems to blow, he seems to gas. Now, he doesn't seem to be carrying a lot of body weight. You know, he does look athletic or he does look in good shape. Um, whether that's nervous energy and he can't control his adrenaline or whatever, I don't know but he does seem to be a bit of an issue with his stamina. If James wants to play the game and take it for the full distance, then fine. But I'm just hoping that he wants to come and stand and bang. Yeah, there's loads of people I want to thank. Where do you start? I suppose we better start you know, in the at four walls of the house. Wife, been absolutely fantastic. Motivation, she's prepared my meals for me, she's sorted the kids out, she's kept them out of the way, she's sorted things out so I can get to the gym and get my training sessions done. She's made me food ready for me. The guys that have also took the time out to, you know, to, to um, do my nutrition program, to do my sparring, to do my training techniques, the guys down at Motivate Gym, absolutely fantastic. You know, guys, you've given it me 110%, I'm giving it all.